If COVID ended tomorrow, what is the first thing you'd do? Honestly, I probably wouldn't trust it for a while. I might intellectually know that COVID is over, but trusting the world is going to be a long time coming. Crowds of people freak me out. I will probably continue to wear face masks for a long time. Honestly though, if it were safe I want to see a movie in theaters again. I miss that. Go to a sit-down restaurant. I'm never doing that again, unless it's fine dining in a fine establishment. No more McDonald's 3x a week. No more Olive Gardens. No 7 to 11 hot dogs. No more high fructose corn syrup. I taught myself to cook during lockdown. I still burn things and my fire alarm still go off, but I will never eat garbage again. I can make my own burger. The arches can kiss my fat ass. Hug my grandma. I would do the exact same. Since the start of COVID we have never hugged and it never bothered my until Christmas Day. We always used to have secret greetings. Seeing her before me on Christmas Day and not being able to hug her made me sad. That was the first thing since the start of COVID that I realized I missed. My grandma and grandpa have always been a huge support in my life, they have a ton of grandchildren and great-grandchildren but I always remained close with them. When my grandfather was having surgery a few years ago, I took a week off work to stay with my grandma so she wasn't alone. A year and a half ago my grandpa passed away, I know my grandmother wasn't expecting it and it has been difficult for her. Then of course, COVID hit. It's just hard knowing that during a time when she needs us, I can't physically be there for her, especially when over the years she has been there for me so many times. Pre-pandemic, I used to have this every other weekend routine involving a Japanese grocery store, a sushi bar, a mall, some indie hobby shops, and if I had more time to kill, a Walmart. And then a bar later that night. I'd do that. I'd just do that. Eat at a restaurant. Visit my elderly mother. Visit my brother. Get together with friends. Go to the giant downtown street party that I'm sure will be held. Hug everyone, and I am not a hugger, with their permission of course. Take a month vacation and travel. Stop forcing myself to go to work when I have a migraine, because if I call in saying I have a headache it triggers the fucking COVID protocol shit, and I would have to be off work for two weeks or two negative tests if I want to go back to work. Run around school with no mask and doing all the things I should have done before social distancing like Ebenezer Scrooge at the end of A Christmas Carol. Go to that Afghan restaurant I've been meaning to try for the past year and have a meal with my friends. I live in NZ so life is normal here, but man do I want to travel. Just go everywhere. Meet people. Drive through random countries and random small towns. My brother was in Argentina when the shit hit the fan with COVID and only just got home in time but the pictures he showed us. God it looks beautiful. The people, the food, the scenery. I want to go all over South America, Southeast Asia, China, India, Nepal, Europe, Morocco, Botswana. Maybe America, especially Alaska, that place looks damn beautiful, if it gets a bit less, well you know. This is good perspective. Even those in countries that have managed COVID well and are living relatively normal lives feel stuck because they can't leave. Just about everyone on the planet is stuck somewhere. Hadn't really thought about that much before you said this. I'd finally get to invite all my friends to celebrate my birthday. I had to cancel my plans for it due to COVID and I'm just waiting until I feel like things are safe again to have my super belated birthday party. I'd go to a random crowded place without a mask and try not to feel all weird about it. Just walk around without a mask on. Go to a Starbucks, order a drink without mask muffling, and just sit down and enjoy it. Go on a real date with my boyfriend. So many things. Visit my grandparents. Hug my great-grandma. 
See my college friends before we all graduate in May and scatter across the country. Go to a movie theater with my partner. Walk around a Target just cause. Visit my favorite coffee shop. Cry, I'd cry a lot from happiness. Visit graduate schools before I commit this spring. See my three nieces that were born this year that I haven't been able to meet yet. Hug my sister that I haven't been able to see for just over a year now. Get super drunk and give myself a night deserving of my senior year of college. Go see my hairdresser slash old high school friend she's been having chemo treatments and I haven't felt safe seeing her. Get a hotel room for a mini getaway for my partner to see his old friends. Go to a museum and touch the interactive exhibits. Throw a giant housewarming party and then travel. I don't even care where, I'll throw a dart at a map and finally stamp my passport.